So if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I travel around the country in my very practical vehicle to pick up reasonably large items for this museum's not obsolete. Yeah, it's an orange mini, and you do have to get a bit creative here and there to pick up these items. For instance, this one, we had to remove the roll cage to fit the synthesizer in the back, but you know, needs must, and it does get done. However, I've seen in the comments a lot of people being like, oh, why don't you get a sensible car, like get a van or a truck or something, or you know, a Skoda. Well, that's what we're going to be going and doing today. We're going to be picking up a more practical vehicle. I got rid of another car and an opportunity has arose to get one that is a little bit more practical than an orange mini, but not that much more. You're going to be facepalming when you realise. We're popping up north to near Manchester to see Simpsons Classic, which is another YouTube channel, and we're going to be picking up a car. Well, you know you're up north when it's uh, pushing it down. Yo man, how's it going? Alright. Oh. So I've made it here at Simpsons Classics and I'm gonna go and pick this car up. It's behind this shutter, so let's uh let's have a look. Hello? Hello? Oh. 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 Whoa, what the heck? I was coming down. How you doing? Hello? Is that it? This is, is it. Is that it? It's it's blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ready? Are you ready to see your new car? The grand reveal. Grand reveal. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Mr. Plastic. <laughs> it's Mr. Plastic. I love the... I've only just realised the actual... How serious the angle is. Is that a go faster angle? Streamlining. Like, yeah. But, yeah, this thing is completely fibreglass. Oh, my God. So, Matt, this is your, this is your car. And you're getting rid of it to... Yeah. Sort out that one over there, one. but show us around. Right, so this is a Mini Phoenix. Um, rescued this in 2015, got it on the road in 2019. It looks like a Mini, a cross between, you hate it, but a cross between a Reliant Robin or a Reliant Herald, is it? Which one's Reliant a kitten. Reliant Kitten? Yeah, look, so the back of it, gonna have to keep the Manchester Mini. Oh, right. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, and that one, yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. I don't know whether uh, that'll be, you're gonna remove that so I can't no, have no, it, no, aren't you? It's like, that. you're not from Manchester. That's it. <laughs> you could yeah. get these shells back in the late eight, no, early 80s, late 70s? Mid 70s, early 80s. Mid 70s, early 80s. Yeah. If you wanted a cheap way of getting an estate instead of your mini, or your mini was uh, rusted to hell and back, you could get something like this. Yeah. And yeah, it's basically, it's a boat on wheels, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Which is gonna be because of the weather yeah, which we're going to need and we're going to float off. But we're, we're currently, at, like I said, Simpsons Classics. You should check it out. Awesome YouTube channel on restoring vehicles. We're going to have a look around all of these at the minute. This is this the one's... car that we have in storage. Yeah, so storage. It's oh, it's um, a beast. The 1980 minivan. Yeah. Or 81 minivan. Wow. Uh, yeah, so this is my T2 financial mistake. Financial mistake. <laughs> is that what it's the, is the name is? Um, it's got many names right now. I don't know what its future holds right now. So it's, it, we've done one side of the world and there's some more to do. That's the only surface rust, right? Only, yes. That's the only, surface. Oh yeah, yeah, so you did the uh, stuff around. But it had, I saw that it had quite a fancy done up engine, didn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, so down here it's got the, it's got a, Originally 1600, rebought to 1900 on twin weathers. So it's, it's not and it's got, at all. it's got loads of spangly parts in it as well. Yeah. On that, I thought, bugger it, I'll do it. And it's, <laughs> it's now here in the way and broken. I think I've done 23 miles in zone shoot. Is there any welding left? Yeah, here. Oh, yeah. So it's got to make that somehow. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> so there's a video going on that eventually. Is that panel, I guess that panel's quite pricey because it's a whole yeah, you huge can buy, chunk. Like, all of that. Yeah. I don't need all of that. I just yeah. need this piece. So I'm going to just have a go at making it. Just wow. timing it off of that, so. That's a lot of work. So that you, I guess you a lot. There's a lot of welding that goes on here, a lot of yeah. bodywork yeah. and stuff like. This one, this one's your wife's, isn't it? No, this one's this one's mine. Uh, yeah. I've had this five years now. Always wanted a minivan. Yeah. Um, and it just keeps getting moved round to lock up to lock up. It's the same year as that white one. Um, oh really? Yeah. So Is that the same? Not quite the same condition though. Yeah. Like if I open the door. <clears throat> oh wow! Wow! Look at that. What a beast. It's basically all of it here. I've got the engine at home for it. Everything's kind of here for it. It's just, um, it's time. <laughs> well, it looks like you've got a lot of projects. Yeah, that's I'll... the white one that you just mentioned. That's, that's ah, the that's project. the one, yeah. That's the project 89. It's all done underneath, and it's just a process of paint now. Look at the sunroof on that. 
<laughs> that's the aircon. That's, the, oh, that's the aircon, yeah. Wow. Oh, but you've got so many, you've got so many projects on the go at the minute. That looks a lot different. Yeah, so, I've already, so basically I've done this in the wing. That's oh, the yeah. one. Um, this one's back on and then I've got to repair this wing. And then this wing's actually really good. I've just got to do the inner wing repair. And then it needs a little bit of welding underneath. And to be fair, this has been stored since 1978. One owner from Move. <clears> and it's a 1964 car. It's, it's this. These two cars here are why I started Mr. Classics. I wanted to achieve to own both these cars. Oh, right. It's my childhood dream cars. The Volvo Amazon and the Mi Van. I've got them both, but they both look like this. Yeah, well, <laughs> is that gonna snap enough? Dusty, but it's, um, no, no, it's all solid. Plushness. You oh, it smells. Smell vision, you? <laughs> I've not smelled that in a car. That's an interesting. It's welcome. <laughs> There's this hint of walnut. The slightly rotten. <laughs> oh, it smells like the Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> Even the back doors. Yeah. Do they work? Yeah. Oh. Oh, the smoothness. It's never been restored. What's your plan with these? Are, are, are you going to have to do all of that? I actually find these, so if they're in the boot, there's a new, there's a new old stock. Oh, replacements of those? Yeah, they're bolt. How did they get... Oh, there was the windows open. Yeah, I think it was in a barn, and it was like a lean-to, apparently, and that's why it's got all the micro blister in. Like, it's yeah. actually white underneath, like dust. Um, it's really smooth as well. So, yeah, it's just got micro blister all over it because of that. So, yeah, you've got so many projects on the go. How do you keep on top of them all? Oh, you don't. It's the same as me. Come down and go. What do I feel like today? No Volkswagen's in my head, and I'll work on this. Yeah, yeah. But it all with these as well because they're not funded by me. It's quite easy because right, okay, that panel's alright. We'll do that bit, and that's how it kind of works, really. I guess. I guess it's you. You have less of an opportunity to procrastinate from something when you're doing it with somebody else. Also, someone else's car. I'm not spending money on buying other cars, but the idea is to get that one done. Yeah, you gotta. That'll be amazing. There's the oh new floor. What is that for? I wonder. Yeah, no, no floor. No floor in this one. What year was this again? 96. Oh, it's just mad that a 96 card is, is so rotten, isn't it? So this is why you bought a fiberglass one, isn't it? This is why I bought a fiberglass one, because... Because of this? Yeah, I don't, want the, I don't want the floor falling out. <laughs> <laughs> it's still like, you know, it should be a, should be a Flintstones car. Here, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Car. Did we have a name for it? We found a name for it now, didn't we? Patch. Patch, that was it. Patch. There's so many patches in the floors. Oh, yeah, that's good. So this is this is what you're making to replace your yes. mini kind of, uh, your mini love. Uh, what's your plan with it? So it's going a, a different colour. Uh, like it's going in MG colour. I'm not going to say any more than that. But the uh, plan is just to restore it and get it back on the road. It's going to be five glass front end. <clears throat> so engine wise, it's going to stay standard for now and then iterations of that. Ooh. Takes the shows, events and stuff like that and just use it. It's gonna be a usable daily. Yeah, sort. daily. I love uh, like the, the serious amount of bracing. Oh, the bed frame. We nearly gave you an answer. Oh, are you getting any use for this old bed? Yes, I Yes, have. I do, so you actually. you see like, the pickup points there, pick up on the seatbelt anchors, that picks up on the gearbox <clears> selector. <throat> and we've kind of made a frame, so. Do you know if that matches up pretty well? Well, it's yeah. got another, we've made a rear soft frame, a solid rear soft frame, basically. Yeah. Oh! We don't actually know it yet, we've not tried it. We'll, we'll find out. The heel board's still in, so we just got to cut out the rest and then offer the new floor up, bolt that in, weld it in, and then we can drop the rear, other floor out because there's two floors. There's a rear floor and a front floor. Yeah. Oh, you're going... All the mess. You're going all the floors. What's going to be left? <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> well, we just said triggers through. It's another one of them. <clears> yeah, it's a trigger. Well, uh, most men is. What are, is the roof need any work? Uh, the gutter there where you're touching is a bit corroded, but the rest but. is actually and even though we're going to be cutting it out anyway. Yeah, the skin. You know, we're cutting out the good bit. Oh, you're going carbon fiber yeah. over the whole shebang? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's serious. But currently, that's saying rust is lighter than carbon fiber. That is actually what's happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> but it will get better. Carbon yeah. fiber is more expensive. Yes. Well, the fiberglass and plywood yeah. on yeah. the roof. <laughs> so the, it's got a sunroof, but it's not covered up is it <laughs> so what happened was the first time i took it out to bristol i met him in 2019 um we had weather like it is today yeah yeah and it leaked so bad that i had to turn around back to the house and go and reseal it up oh. so I had, like a washing up bowl and i was just trying to catch all the water it leaked yeah. that bad. Oh. so i took it back resealed it and then thought well i've got no hair anyway so i'm gonna get my head burnt i just sealed it up save on sun cream yeah save on sun cream <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand sunroofs at all. No. Like, what's the point? Um, I'm curious. Yeah, take it off. And... Oh, baby, what colour was that? Yellow? A sort of yellow, standard a 998. 
been painting it red without a few BHP, wouldn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's got a newer exhaust in it because you had a bike exhaust in it. I before. did, yeah, which uh, fell off and nearly hit a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of is it tubbed or is it because it's lower? But it's, just the fire mold, yeah. it's just so weird, isn't it? Well, we haven't even seen it running yet. Is it? Does it even work? It better not do it. Got me here. Oh no! This is gonna be it's gonna be sod's law, isn't it? Oh. That started on the dark. <laughs> My gosh, that's amazing. That sounds quite good actually. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Do you know what miles this engine has? No idea. No idea. It hasn't been built. It hasn't been rebuilt or anything like that. It's yeah. just uh, standard it's... deal with the new Scott. It's an air filter on it and an exhaust. And, uh, yeah. Wow. That's amazing. That, I, I am feeling pretty confident now that you're going to be able to make it home without any problems or worries. I'm sure you're going to be fine. <laughs> Something, something's already broken before it's even left. We've got a field jubilee clip. It's only a jubilee clip. It's, it's all right. There you go. There you go. Yeah, touch Thanks. wood. Right. This is play some music to it. The amount of rip I've had because of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Check out Simpsons Classics. You get out to see all of these things, see how this project's going along. There's a few videos on this as well, so yeah. Anyway, we've got to get back. I'm going to shove my backpacks in and my tools because, oh, did, was I supposed to chuck it in there? Was there something underneath? <laughs> I've got a jack, I've got a fan belt, I've got a wrench. You've got a jack? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I'm heading off now. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Oh, and, um, nice to see you. Enjoy yeah. <laughs> oh, is it called Greta? Greta. Greta Green. Yeah. I was going to call it Mr. Plastic. Oh, it's Greta because it's never going to biodegrade. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Right, going to head off. See you guys later. It's a lot different to drive than the orange one. The seats are quite a bit taller. The wheel is a bit lower. The engine's nice. It's quite a bit smaller than the one in the orange one. But it literally feels like you're driving a barge or like a speedboat. <laughs> it feels like I'm in a fiberglass speedboat. But yeah, this is a vehicle for some leisurely strolls and lugging load around. So it's not gonna need to be like smashed around and stuff. But wow, this is, this is a whole different kind of experience. This one's gonna be good for moving stuff, that's for sure. The only downside is there's no way, unless with modification, of course, of getting the roof rack on. So to carry the plywood, still gonna need to use the orange one. But this one has got so much more boot space and we're gonna be using that in a moment because we're gonna be picking up something in about 50 miles time. I'll see you then. Oh. Let's get this. Oh, <laughs> look at this window. Oh no, oh no, oh bugger. Right, off we go. Gonna go fill up. Yeah, baby. It's got helical gears, sound deadening and all that. It's quite a lot quieter. I don't even need to shout in here. But I do need to pull my hold of that person. So here it is, it is a little bit rough around the edges, but that's a good thing because we're gonna be using it to get things and stuff. Much like I've got today. Look, we've popped somewhere and we've already picked something up. Anyway, let's get this open. Oi, oi, oi. Get, get your thing. Get the stick out. Lovely jubbly. There we go. So we have a really nice teletype. This is actually a Bordeaux code one. Uh, it was uh, before it went to ASCII characters to talk. So we're gonna get back and we're gonna try and plug this in. So we're gonna drive back and we're gonna get this plugged in. But how good is Mr. Plastic the load hauler? It's got the Simpsons classic sticker as well. Nice one. Zoom it. <laughs> nice. <laughs>
And there we go, it's a load hauler. It's got an arcade machine in the back <laughs> already. Already put to work. <laughs> oh yeah, how good is that?